Right, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today it's a different type of video as you have the first rebuild I've ever done. Now if you go on to enjoy this one and you want me to do more, please let me know in the comments. I mean, like the video and subscribe and I'll get on doing more of these. Plus, if you have any feedback as to how to improve these after I've finished this one, do comment that below as well. And as this is the first one of these on the channel, here's how I'm going to do the rebuild. The ultimate goal is to win the Champions League. All games will be simulated except the Champions League final that I will play live and as soon as we win the Champions League, the rebuild is over, even if we haven't won the Premier League or the FA Cup. Now, let's go and have a look at the starting squad. Now, this is a West Ham squad that in real life has got them pushing for Champions League football, but I'm looking at it here and I do not expect us to be doing that well at all. It's a mix of aging and youngsters with the likes of Ogbonna, Cresswell and Fabianski getting on a bit, but Rice... Bowen, for nows, all quite young. Other than that, the youth players, they're all too low rated to be doing anything in the Premier League. The bench is too aging with Noble and Yarmolenko. Things need to change and we're going to have to make some signing. But with a budget of 17, nearly 18 million, their board haven't given us much of a chance this year, I don't think. As for outgoings in the club then, Amadou Jallo's gone out to uh, Wickham, Rosa to Flamenzi, Trot also goes out into China. I'm just making loans, that's all we're doing. Ashby and Holland now also go on loans for like a year and uh, two years respectively. Then we've got a few more with Odubeko going out to China to join Trot, the player in the youth academy with him. Amadou um, goes out to Ibar and I believe we've got one more, which is Emmanuel Longello who goes out to Germany. Now in terms of signings, we're gonna struggle. So we've sat down first, with Thomas Tuchel at Chelsea and thought about bringing in someone with a little bit of experience. That big man Olivier Giroud has been linked with West Ham before, hopefully he can do us a job. Despite playing with two centre defensive midfielders, West Ham don't actually have a backup. So, Christian Bielek is coming in from Derby 72 rated 22, should actually be quite a decent backup and hopefully grows quite well. And then the final signing to come in is a backup striker, a young hopefully grows quite well, Adolfo Gaich. If you've seen BTHD's recent video, he does grow him quite well and I will say that's where I got the idea, so hopefully he can come in and do a good job for us. On to the squad for this season, it's the exact same, the starting 11 has not changed and most likely will not, it's just the bench has been filled out a little bit, Bielek now makes the bench, Olivier Giroud also makes the bench, we've got Gage in the reserves now to do a little bit of job and it's just cleared out some of the youth players that we're just not going to get game time being too low rated, but hopefully we can push towards maybe Europa League this season. I would like that if at all possible. So let's go and have a look. And first up in January then, we've done not too bad. 21 games played, 10th place. We're quite clear of the relegation zone as you can see there, but looking up, it's not too far off Everton in six, but top four is obviously well gone. So I think this season is done. So thinking ahead then, I've gone and made a pre-contract signing in Julian Draxler, who's available on a free at the end of the season. So we bring him in and maybe we can push towards Europe at the end of this season. Unfortunately, not we've said in the exact place and that is 10th but I'll take 10th place it's not too bad in the league well clear of relegation we dropped off towards the end looking at Europe but it's fine in the Carabao Cup we went out in the quarters to Manchester United 3-1 in the FA Cup we went out in the semis to Arsenal 2-1 that was unlucky for us top scorers wise we had Jared Bowen down there with 12. He's had a good season, as well as assists for him as well on 12. We've got 12 and 12 in the Premier League. He's had a very good season. Other than that, no one else has really performed. Fabianski with five clean sheets is about the best we get. As for our best performers in this season, then Bowen tops the goals with 16. Had Lingard with 11. Giroud with 9, who covered for the injured Antonio, although he still managed to get seven goals along with Suchek. Four nows and Ben Rama both grabbed five and even Mark Noble got himself four goals in the end. In terms of assists, Bowen once again topped these with 14, head of finals this time with six, Ben Rama five, then Masawaku, Rice and Lanzini on three and a whole host on two. We'll move on now to season two where we hope for better fortunes. And here's how we start with the second season then with the squad including Draxler and a few gross, Masawaku now in for Cresswell, Balbuena's in for Obono who's dipped, Fabianski has also dipped as well but we've got a few gross like Bielek, Benarama, Gage has gone up, Giroud's gone down and we've got a few of the loans back so we need to get them out and with 42 million we should be able to replace quite a few of them, we've still got to make some sales and we start off with Yarmolenko going to Southampton for around 3 million, Lewis goes out to Via Valbocum for 150k, uh, Akinola then goes out to Portsmouth for 200 150 Ashby to Las Palmas for 400k. We're making good sales here. Alpha Lion out to St. Truiden in Belgium for 170k. Zhu goes out to Stoke for 280k. Then 
Longello goes out to Leon for 300k. And the final one is Cresswell, where we had a bit of a glitch. My manager face is also on the Leon manager, but that's fine. He goes out for 4.9 million. And now we start to make some signings. We immediately start with a left back in Omar Richards, who has a 12 million release clause. So that's very handy. Centre back now in Mark Gay from Swansea, 8 million, or actually technically from Chelsea, should I say. He's come in, not bad. I'm very happy to get him. Now another CDM. We managed to get Matt Grimes from Swansea this time. He's 4.3 mil we spent on him, plus Angelo Ogbonna. I didn't need him. He's gone out. And the centre-back to replace Ogbonna would be Wesley Fofana for 21.9 million. He should be a very solid signing for us. And then the final big signing we made is Casper Dolberg up front. For around 30-odd million, I think it was, Dolberg came in and he should be able to bang in some goals. And looking at our final squad then, this personally looks a lot better to me. Richard starts, Fafana starts, we've got Dolberg up top now, Bowen's growing well, Draxler, Fonals, this looks very good. The bench is looking much better now with Ben Rama, Felipe Anderson as well, Antonio still on the bench. This is a much better side and I think we should be able to push forward in the league this year. And having done no business in January, then I thought I'd just skip straight to the end and we came seventh in the end. Pretty, pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. And depending on who wins the FA Cup, that could mean Europa League football. We'll check that in a second. But if we look up there, we were quite a way off sixth and fifth and fourth, of course, but seventh place is still a very good return. In the FA Cup then, the winner was Liverpool, so we will get Europa League football. In the Carabao Cup, we did go out to Accrington on penalties. Top scorers, we had Jarrah Bowen once again up there in the top which is very very good Casper Dolberg also getting on the list is very handy and Suchek just about scraping in Owen then tops the assist for the league with 14 same as he got last season and we get four hours on the list as well which is nice with Kufal down the bottom and this time Fabianski with seven clean sheets Bowen once again absolutely dominated our stats with 24 goals this time Dolberg was second with 13 ahead of a surprise package in Suchek with 12 from CDM then Ben Rama with six four hours and Draxler with five and our defenders on two and one goals each. Assist wise Bowen once again grabbing 14 same as last year to top the charts ahead of four hours again with eight. Kufal had a good season from right back with six and Draxler underperformed in my opinion with four alongside Dolberg. Rice contributed three while Suchek and Ben Rama got two to their name. Hopefully now with Europa League football we can bring in some more signings and season three can be very fruitful for the club. But unfortunately we do start with a few mistakes for me so Felipe Anderson and Ryan Fredericks both depart the club due to me forgetting to renew their contracts. My apologies but we do sell Winston reads of Wolfsburg for 400k and looking at the squad for season six we need a goalkeeper and I'm thinking maybe a right back as well and then back up wingers is another place we could really do with filling out quite frankly we just need a few backups as well as maybe a few stars just to push us on so we'll get into some transfers now we started off by going to the free agents and an absolute gem in Sergio Asensio was sitting there waiting to be signed so I did along with a left winger that will be a good backup for us as well Eunice Musa comes in from Spurs right wing as a backup but we'll be happy with him hopefully his growth at only 19 is good then that right back I mentioned in Max Ahrens is the one to come in he's not quite better than Kufal right now but I bet by the end of the season he will be and I still thought we needed a better keeper so in came Alessia Cragno from Cagliari for his 24 mil release scores that was nice and handy and then a nice left wing signing in Musa Diaby another one with a release clause about 35 mil we paid for him this is our final squad then for season three so much better looking now got good backups Musa Diaby on the wing looks good Max Ahrens looks good oh it's going to be so good I'm thinking this is going to be a great season our bench is looking better our starting 11 is looking way better and our reserves are actually quite good as well with a few down there such as Antonio the left winger I brought in Corteo and Mark Gay and then coming into January we are sitting second in the league after 21 games having won around half of them in 12 we're nine points away from Liverpool but we're quite comfortably I think gonna finish in the top four this year in the Europa League then we've made it through our group I did forget to show you to you at the start but we absolutely breezed through it Antwerp Fenerbahce and fire an odd no match for us might as well show you this as well as we are in the semi-finals against Arsenal in the FA Cup and um you're gonna want to watch my live reaction to simming through this calendar which is coming up nice let's go Madrid this is not gonna be easy lost it in the home leg away but we're through to the semis of the Europa League oh my god Monaco won the first leg and the second leg we're in the final oh my god how we managed it league wise I don't know where we're gonna finish but can we win the Europa League oh my god oh lord what a result what a result 
So yes, after just three seasons, we've managed to win the Europa League. And this season in the Premier League, we did come in fourth. Only 12 points off of Liverpool at the top. So it's not too bad. And that's Champions League football guaranteed for next year. In the FA Cup, then we went out 3-2 to Barnsley in the third round. Not good. Carabao Cup... We did go out in the semi-final to eventual final losers Arsenal on all penalties. And then let's just have a quick look at the Europa League then. Win 1-0 against Mönchengladbach. An unbelievable season for us. I can't believe we managed to do that after beating everyone just about in our legs. Fantastic stuff. Top scorers in the Premier League this year. We had Dobo perform well with 21 goals along with Ben Rama and Bowen who both got 12. Assists was once again topped by Bowen this time with 11. Declan Rice was our next best with 7. And as for clean sheets, Cragno grabbed 7 while Asensio got 4 in 5 games which is a great return. In the Europa League, Dolberg was once again our best performer this time with 7. And Ben Rama and Bowen made the list with 4 as well. For assists, we see Bowen and Diaby both near the top with 5, and clean sheets was topped by Cragno, who managed 6 in 13 games, but don't miss Asensio there too, with 5 in 6. It's taken a couple of seasons, but we finally have a new top goal scorer in the squad, and it's Kasper Dolberg with 31 goals. Ben Rama was next best with 19, then back to the original Bowen with 18. There's a drop then to Gates, who managed to get 9 off the bench, Suchek with 8, Richards from left back got himself 7 alongside 4 now, and Diaby, who managed 6 before we had a view on 5 and 4. Assists is still topped by Jared Bowen with 16 ahead of Diaby on 10, Rice on 9 and Suchek on 7. Then I dropped to Dolberg on 4 nows with 4 and a few on 3, 2 and 1 as well. But for now, with Champions League football next season, can we improve even more and go all the way to that final? And with this squad, I think it could be possible. Maybe a couple of improvements, namely in the cam position. I think one player there I've got in mind would do us a good job. And then if we just fill out this bench a little bit more, we should be on our way to glory. Thankfully, we've been given around 200 million to make that glory, plus we're gonna make a few sales here as well, such as Julian Draxler has gone for 14 million out to Liverpool. That's nice and easy for us. Amadou Jallo has gone out for 4.75 million to Brentford, and Bren Johnson has gone out to Espanyol for 3.5 billion as well, which is nice and easy little bit more money for us. On to some incomings then and we bring in another backup CDM in Brozovic for about 30 million. Then two fullbacks as backups come in is Matty Cash and James Justin for 35 million and 25.5 million each for the two of those. Then it was time to sit down with Pep Guardiola for two deals. Now the first deal up is for Liam Delap, 13.7 million. I was just looking for another backup striker and he looks like he could do the job. And then we've got the big one, which is Phil Foden for 110 million. We are going for it this year. The new cam should slot in nicely for us and let's see him get some goals. This is then what our squad looks like for season four with Dolberg, Diaby, Foden, Bowen, Sucek, Rice, Richards, Fafana, Diop, Arons and Craig. No, just about managed that with all my breath. The bench is now all 80s. The starting 11 are about to push all 90s and the backups in the reserves are high 70s. This is a team I'm thinking is going to do really well. Let's push on and win something this year. And in January then, it all seems to be going to plan. It's a tight race between the top four to get in the league title with Spurs only five points behind us but I've got a good feeling about this we may just be able to do this and in the Champions League then we've made it through to the round of 16 the group stage we absolutely bossed Roma, Berlin and Genk were no match for us I'm going to hand you over to live me now as we go through the calendar towards the end of the season through against Bayern I've got Barcelona yes league form we've done whatever that is one against Barca we're through we're through we're through we're through we're through we're through Oh my god. I don't know about the league. That's the only thing. I don't know about the league. What we'll do, I'll go to here, and then we'll go check it, and then I'll play the Champions League final. Can we beat them in the FA Cup? We've lost the FA Cup. Right. Champions League final, but did we win the league? Come on, come on. Pick competition. Pick competition. Premier League. Where do we finish? Third? Oh, you're kidding. Way off the mark. So yes, well, we may have finished third in the league. We have made it to the Champions League final. Now, as I said at the start, if we win this, that's it. Rebuild's over. So, so let's just have a look at the team that's going to start the final. Luckily, everyone seems to be fit and everyone seems to have grown really well. So we've got Dolberg, Diaby, Foden, Bowen, Suchek, Rice, Richards, Fafana, Diop, Aarons and Kragno all starting, all growing really well. No injuries. The bench looks great with Cardozo, Gash, Ben Rama. Everyone's at 84 rated except Asensio is 82. This is going to be huge. Let's see if we can win it. Um, well, I guess here we go. I wasn't expecting to get here without also winning the Premier League, but I suppose this is the Champions League final and this is it. 
Can this team at the biggest stage in Europe lift the trophy? I don't know, but I'm certainly going to try because we deserve it. This team is huge. I mentioned it already. This team is massive, deserving of the Champions League trophy. So let's go and win it. Good start from Richards down the right. Can he get off? Richards from the left already bursting through as Blade Diaby. Surely he's in. Back post, I believe, is Phil Foden. Diaby was offside. Already early on, you can feel the pace and that these players are amazing. That pass wasn't great, but all 90 rated, basically. What a team this is. Find Diaby onside this time. Surely, please be onside. He is. Musa Diaby, great save. He's going to fall to Kasper Dolberg and 15 minutes in. We've been on top by far. And Kasper Dolberg has scored the first goal of this final. It is 1-0 to West Ham. And Cello up the, up the right wing for City goes back to Tony Cruz. Can Mara Richards get there? He can't. Diop steps out. Sterling, is he going to find anyone? He's not because in comes Declan Rice. And he'll set us away on a counter-attack. And it's Musa Diaby. He's gone past Diaz. He's in on goal. Surely Musa Diaby's going to go over Edison. He is. And he's in the back of the net. And Musa Diaby makes it 2-0 after half an hour. Good tackle by Declan Rice. We're in. And it's 2-0. And it looks like it could be a Champions League trophy. Bill Foden against his former club vice Jared Bowen. He's in behind. Why is Kevin De Bruyne playing centre back? Jared Bowen. Oh, has he missed? Bernardo Silva with space. Declan Rice needs to come across here. Gets another foot in. He's been brilliant so far. And there goes the half time whistle. Nice and easy. Second half just don't concede, and the Champions League trophy is ours. Declan Rice looking for Jared Bowen, who is somehow away from everyone on the Man City team. He missed one. Can he score this one? And he can to make it 3 0. Jared Bowen misses Sitter in the first half, but what a player he's become. Absolutely eclipsed his potential. And Jared Bowen makes it three in the Champions League final. Musa Diaby now about to pick up on a through ball. Can he whip one in? Is Kasper Dolberg going to win it? He is. And that makes it 4-0 with about 20 minutes to go. Which is a long ball over the top. Counter attacking football as City trying to get back into it. And it is now 4-0 and the game is over. Trying to keep that clean sheet with about three minutes to go. Can we get this ball out from Rodri? Up goes Rice and wins his header. Sterling now back into De Bruyne and Sterling Declan Rice coming through not getting there for Fana great block can't get there and there goes the clean sheet as City get one back the game is done there's only a minute left but City have got themselves a consolation goal and there goes the full time whistle on our final attack and West Ham have won the Champions League can you believe it? Look at that Champions League trophy there with the claret and blue ribbons on. You'd never expect it. Declan Rice will be the man to lift the trophy. In his wildest dreams would he ever expect this. And up it goes. Declan Rice holding it. What a team assembled around him. Can West Ham do it in real life if they make the Champions League? Who knows? But my God, have we given it a good go here. What a team. What a season. A shame about the league. But that doesn't matter as the aim was the Champions League trophy which Declan Rice holds in his hands. We've completed the task. Unbelievable. Only took us four seasons as well. And there's the screen there that we all want to see. That is that we have beaten Manchester City 4-1 in the final. Pretty easy as well. You do love to see it. And in the other competition then we did finish third in the Premier League. Our best finish to date. So I actually pretty pleased with it had we continued we may have finished up further in the FA Cup we did lose the final to Man City as well that went down 2-1 and then in the Carabao Cup we did go out to Burnley on penalties away from home not good for us and then we'll also check the Super Cup which we again played Man City which finished 2-1 as for the top scorers in our final season then Dolberg wins it for 25 with Bowen not too far behind with 19 and in the bottom photo managed to grab 11 in terms of assists Bowen and DRB both got 8 and Aaron's was our other entry with 6 and Cragno did manage to grab 13 clean sheets in the league too. As for the Champions League, Dolberg also tops the list there with 11 goals in 13 games. Further down, we do have Boa, Diaby and Foden all on 5. And as for assists, Diaby leads the way for us with 5. Jared Bowen grabbed 4. Finally, Cragno did top the clean sheet list with 5 in 13. Then, taking a final look at a squad report, Kasper Dolberg scored a whopping 43 goals this year. Nearly double our next best in Bowen, who managed a still very good haul of 25. Bowen is then just ahead of Foden, who scored 20. And he is just ahead of the Musa Diaby, who scored 14. Suchek managed 9 from CDM, which is pretty good. And then Aaron's and Ben Rama got three each before quite a few players on two. As for assists then, 
We have a tie at the top with both our wingers contributing 14 assists each. Suchek and Rice were the next best with 8 and 7 respectively ahead of Aarons and Dolberg on 6. Phil Foden only managed 4 from Cam and Rich is only 3 from left back. And that's the end of my first rebuild that if you have any ways you think I can make these better please do let me know in the comments below. And hey, follow me on Twitch as in twice a week or so, I do my best. I also have a TikTok now where I post stream clips, follow me on there and while you're at it follow my Twitter as well, all those will be in the description. And and one final thing if you enjoyed this then please do like and subscribe it will let me know that i should be doing more of these thanks for watching this far and i will see you all in the next one